हेलो गाइस क्वेश्चन 2.96 पुलिस प्लान टू इनफोर स्पीड लिमिट्स बाय यूजिंग रेडार ट्रैप्स एट फोर डिफरेंट लोकेशंस विद इन द सिटी लिमिट्स ओके द रेडार ट्रैप्स एट ईच ऑफ द लोकेशंस एल वन एल टू एल थ्री एंड एल फोर विल बी ऑपरेटेड फोर्टी परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम ओके तो वट इज इट लेट मी स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम द गिवन डेटा okay so here uh, we can see that here we have different traps and these traps basically work with the probability of 0.4 0.3 0.2 and 0.3 if a certain percent cross the limit okay so therefore what is this this is the probability that person who is over speeding or the radar trap at location l1 traps a person when he over speeds is basically 40% or 0.4 okay probability of trapping a person if he over speeds at s2 is basically what 0.3 probability of trapping a person at location 3 if he over speeds is basically 0.2 okay basically i am converting the percentages into the probabilities by dividing these values over 100 and similarly probability of the trap over s4 is what that is 0.3 okay because this is 30% if a person who is speeding on her way to work has probabilities of 0.2 0.1 0.5 and 0.2 to respectively of passing through these locations okay what is this this is basically the probability of the over speeding so writing it here let me write it here so probability of the over speeding or s1 of a person is 0.2 probability of it here 0 s2 is 0.1 probability at location 3 is 0.5 and this is 0.2 probability as the at the fourth location is as 4 and that is 0.2 okay so what do we have to find out here uh, what is the probability that she will receive a speeding ticket okay what do we have to find out here we have to find out that it is trapped okay so the required one here is that person is trapped or probability of a p for a person okay so this is the required one and here in order to solve it let me write here the solution okay so in order to solve it what we can use here we can again use the formula which we have previously seen and here in order to find the probability of trapping a person would be what probability of trapping a person given that he or she will pass location si would be here multiplying it the probability of trapping a person at location si then adding them together from 1 to n okay and this is what this is a formula i am going to use here okay so let me use this formula here for the fourth locations which are l1 l2 l3 so therefore probability of trapping a person would be probability of trapping a person at s1 multiplying it with the probability of s1 plus probability of trapping a person at s2 multiplying it with the probability of s2 okay similarly here adding with it probability of trapping at s3 multiplying it with the probability of s3 and at the end probability of t given that as 4 multiplying it with the probability of as 4 okay so let me write their values here because all of those are given probability of t given as 1 is 0.4 and probability of s1 is 0.2 so 
multiplied by 0 0.2 ok. Similarly, P t given as 2 this is here and P as 2 this is here. So, 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.1 ok. Similarly, P t given as 3 this is here 0 0.2 and P as 3 is 0 0.5. So, 0 0.2 given 0 0.5 and the last one here is PT given as 4, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2, okay. So, now at the end adding them all together, multiplying them, adding them, what do we get? We would get here 0 0.27 and there is a chance of what 27 percent chance that person who is over speeding and moving through these locations will be trapped ok. So, this is what this is the solution of the required quantity which we wanted to find out ok. So, that is what that is the solution of uh, question 2.96. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment box you can see that this is what this is basically the implementation of this formula which we have seen. So, that's it for today and I will see you soon.